The Renaissance Castle, Schloss Johannesburg, is a landmark of Aschaffenburg. Within a time of only nine years, it was built as a summer residence for the Archbishops of Mainz. After the castle was destroyed during the last days of war in 1945, the master students of the local stonemason school helped rebuilding it. Even today, former students come back to proudly show their family and friends which of the castle stones they have worked on. The stonemason school still exists and until today the master class enriches the cityscape with their work. For example, with a monument for Plant for the Planet or a water fountain for the marketplace. Hi, I'm Uschi Flassig from Sonntag Club Aschaffenburg, Bavaria. Welcome to my favorite place, the Pompeianum. Probably you have already seen Aschaffenburg's landmark, the square Johannesburg Castle, towering high above the river Main. Below the castle, there is a beautiful park. We call it the Schlossgarten. It stretches all along the riverside and leads you to this impressive building. In the middle of the 19th century, our Bavarian King Ludwig I planned this reconstruction of an ancient building in Pompeii that was buried during the eruption of Vulcano Vesuvius in 79, almost 2,000 years ago. Ludwig loved Aschaffenburg a lot due to its mild climate and he was an enthusiast of ancient Italy and its excavations. Look, the rolling hills that surround Aschaffenburg almost give you a feeling of Tuscany. What better place for the resurrection of an ancient Roman building than this lovely place high above the river Main. If we had a little more time, we could even go inside. There is a lovely atrium and a museum. But we don't have to do it all over video. You're cordially invited to come to Aschaffenburg and see for yourself. My name is Martina and this is my favorite place. We are on the roof of an old house in the center of the old town in Aschaffenburg. Just look around. You can see the river Main, our castle Johannesburg, our basilica and last but not least the town hall. Let's go downstairs and take a few steps in the old town. Do you see this ugly guy? The builder of the house believed that this ugly face would protect the residents against evil spirits. Isn't that a nice place? Half-timbered houses are typical for our town. We hope you liked our short video about Aschaffenburg. When you come here, just contact us and visit our club. We would be glad showing you our city in reality. Bye! Hello and a warm welcome to the Stiftsberg in Aschaffenburg, the oldest part of our town. My name is Ursula dostal dittmann and I'm a member of the Zonderclub Aschaffenburg. We are standing on a small hill situated directly over the river Main. This area can be considered the birthplace of our town. Artifacts dated back to the 5th century before Christ prove that the first settlements were exactly here. Today here is the center of the town Aschaffenburg with a Stiftsmuseum, the Stiftschurch and the town hall. The Stiftsmuseum contains an exceptionally medieval treasure, the St. Magdalenen Altar crafted by Lukas Graner the Elder. In the museum you can also find objects made from gold, silver and rock crystal. 
The Stifts Church is built up in the 10th century and has a very wonderful cloister from the 13th century. In the northern part of the Stiftskirche lays the wonderful Romanesque cloister with 65 different columns and capitals. It was built up in the 13th century. The Stift Church is a Basilica Minor and is under the authority of the Pope himself. It's a very important church for the town and the surrounding area. Susanne Pauken Schäffner vom Sonntag Club Aschaffenburg. Mein Lieblingsweg auf die Arbeit, die Aschaffauen. Alles ist ganz still, von der Stadt ist nichts zu hören. Die Aschaff plätschert, die Vögel singen, so kann der Tag beginnen. This is Schönbusch Park and Castle. Since 1775, the former Archbishop from Mainz, Ertal, started the transformation of this garden to an English garden. This was the first in Germany in this style. Emanuel Herigoyen was the architect to the court. He also designs many buildings in this park. This gives the park a varied character. Altogether, the park is 150 acres large. A particular highlight is Schloss Schönbusch, just behind me. It's the neoclassical summer house from the Archbishop from Mainz. If you stand in front of this castle, you have an unexpected view to the Schloss Johannesburg in Aschaffenburg. My name is Monica from Zonta Club Aschaffenburg and right behind me you see our busy market square. It is situated between the castle and the Stadthalle. Every Saturday and Wednesday morning you can get all kinds of local produce here. The atmosphere is always very lively because people not only like to come here for shopping but also just to chat, meet each other, have a cup of coffee or maybe a glass of wine. And if you come to Aschaffenburg you shouldn't miss this spot. Welcome to Wolfsthalplatz. This is the site of the Aschaffenburg synagogue destroyed in November 1938. But apart from the historical relevance, this square, somewhat hidden in the busy city center, breathes an almost Mediterranean serenity that creates a peaceful calm. It is my place to relax and rest. everybody. I am in front of a former military exercise area in Aschaffenburg that now been used as a natural reserve and far in the distance probably you can still see some horses. These are wild Mongolian horses and this is part of a special breeding program. One day some of these horses will be released into the Mongolian wild and it's really peaceful and isn't it nice to see how a former military area has been turned in such a beautiful and peaceful area. So I hope one day when you come to Aschaffenburg you can enjoy this place too. <laughs> <laughs> 